right, so today I just wanted to show you guys how to get fonts for your editing software. Like, I personally use Windows Movie Maker. So, the first thing you would do is come to this website, which I will link down below. It is thefont.com. And then, I'm just going to go to the horror part. And I already looked through some of these earlier and, and grabbed one. But I'll grab another one to show you how it works. I think I might have grabbed this one. <laughs> I don't remember. There's so many cool ones on here. Actually, that's the one I grabbed. Now I remember. But yeah, I mean, editing software typically comes with some standard fonts for you to use, and you can make it so much more exciting. Hmm. I'm so indecisive. I should just grab one to show you, but I'm actually trying to find one I might like, might like to use. Ooh. <laughs> um, I'm just going to grab this one because I know I've used it in the past on other things. And we're going to download. It goes right up here. So then what we're going to do is just open this up and I'm going to move it onto my desktop. This is your download folder by the way. And then extract all, I can't see, there we go, extract all. So now this pops up, I usually just go ahead and delete this. We're going to move this file onto my desktop. Close that. All right, then you're going to need to go into your computer, to the Windows, then find fonts, which is right here. Open it up, and we're just going to drag that one into here. All right, now I guess we can see if it works. So here's Movie Maker, which is what I use. And I guess we could do a title. We'll go over here and see if we can find anything I just put in there because they would not have been there before. Oh, I've already forgot what they were called. Okay, here, something strange, it is working. So we can just write, ugh, or maybe we can't. There it is. So yay, it is working. But it, it's really that simple, guys. And then you can use these captions and, and lettering and stuff inside your editor. Um, I'm sure it works the same way with Mac. I don't know. I've never used a Mac before. But I'm sure you still have a font folder that you can throw things in and then it'll appear in all your programs. So that is my video for you. I hope it helped.